Hello everybody, I am the English professor. Today we shall discuss the poem Shut Down the Shop by Nisar Ahmed. If you had not subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe for notifications on literature and grammar lessons which will help you to score marks for your exams. Let's start. Let us know about the author. K. S. Nisar Ahmed, 5th February 1936 is an Indian poet and writer in Kannada language. He holds a postgraduate degree in geology and worked as an assistant geologist in the Mysore mines. He worked as a lecturer in geology in Bangalore, Chitradurga and Shivmoga. He is best known for Nityotsava, a collection of poems. He was the 73rd president for Kannada Sahitya Sammelana held at Shivmoga in the year 2007. Summary of the poem The poem Shut Down the Shop highlights the struggle of small shopkeepers in the face of globalization and the rise of moles. The poet points out that the taste of customers has changed and multinational companies use different strategies to attract them. The poem uses sarcasm to suggest that small shopkeepers should close their shops themselves since the mall culture will eventually devour them. Analysis of Stanza 1 and Stanza 2 Shut down the shop. How long will you sport? Your scattered wares and display them for sale? However much you publicize. Can you exhaust the stale contents? Though the shop is kept open always. A place that would not allow sunlight. Wooden plants kept to guard the shop. The door that is century old. Shut it, so as not to reopen. Let not others ridicule you for your predicament. The octagon-shaped clock that refuses to show time is broken down. Handing cobwebs. Eaten away by the rusting metallic board. Is this not enough to reveal your trading? The last of your employees have given up their jobs in search of new avenues. Who would buy, even if you lend them? Fly-covered lemon and garlic peppermint? When petty shops can sell. Imported toffees, chewing gums and mesmerizing scent? Analysis The first stanza of the poem questions how long small shopkeepers can continue to sell their stale goods despite publicizing them. The second stanza describes the deteriorating condition of the shop, with cobwebs, rusting metallic boards, and a broken clock. The poet suggests that this situation reveals the declining state of their trading. Stanza 3 This street had a shop or two, in those days. You were the ruler, provided all, as did Kamadhinu. But today, can be found at every step, a luxury shop. That can supply anything at our doorstep. You too had supplied in the past. Refined edible groceries without any fraud in weights and measures, so, your shop was swarming with customers all day and night. But, things are different now. Even if you beg, the buyers hesitate to buy anything. A thousand or two, was your capital huge. Dealings you could enter long before this mohalla became extant now with the populace exceeding millions. Analysis the third stanza acknowledges that small shopkeepers were once rulers of their street, providing all kinds of goods, just like Kamadhinu, a mythical Indian cow believed to fulfill wishes. However, luxury shops have now replaced them, supplying anything at the doorstep. The poet acknowledges that small shopkeepers used to supply refined, edible groceries without fraud in weights and measures, and customers flock to their shops day and night. But things are different now, and buyers hesitate to buy anything, even if small shopkeepers beg. Day after day, with increasing rivalry in trade. At least now change for the better. Before this petty shop could be discarded with contempt. Shut down the shop, on your own, forever. Lest you suffer. Dishonor and ridicule, live your life well. 
like an hobbyly person in exile. Stanza 4 Analysis The fourth stanza suggests that small shopkeepers must change for the better to keep up with the increasing rivalry in trade. The poet urges them to shut down their shops on their own before they are discarded with contempt. The poet warns them that if they do not shut down their shops, they will suffer dishonor and ridicule. Conclusion Overall, the poem highlights the plight of small shopkeepers and the changing economic landscape that threatens their livelihood. The poem urges small shopkeepers to adapt to the changing times or face the consequences of being left behind. Thank you for watching. Please do not forget to comment, like and subscribe.